Well, it's another day, another cert. So I got the CompTIA Datasys Plus. So if we look here, um, it's the skills required to deploy, manage, maintain databases. Let's share this on LinkedIn so that other people can see it. Granted, you can see it through Credibly. I'll actually show that in this video, uh, how to do that. Um, so by default, I have everything coming from CompTIA listed as public on my Credibly. Um, but cool, post it on my LinkedIn. But uh, when you come to Credibly, you can actually, let's see, go to profile, I believe, and yeah, preview your public profile. So this is your public profile that other people can see. Um, so uh, by the way, you can order these badges. I recently did that. Um, I do think my two most uh, valuable certifications are the GISP and the CISSP. Um, and then I, since I'm an instructor, I've listed those, but I haven't gone much further than that. So um, you, you can order all of these. Um, it's just not worth the time. I have too many now. Um, anyway, but you can put there what uh, you'd like people to see. Uh, same with your LinkedIn. Um, there's different things there, but uh, you can see the public version of Credibly, you can share with people. You have your public LinkedIn. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about the Datasys Plus. Um, I did. I should. I was going to say I didn't do any studying for this, but I kind of did. Um, about not quite a year ago, uh, CompTIA Instructor Network did a train the trainer series for this. Um, it's one that some some of these I pay more attention than others. This one I was watching as. I was grading and things like that. Um, and I found myself not paying as much attention to it as I should. Um, but there's a reason why. I used to be a DBA. Um, that's one of the things I kind of loved. Uh, uh, there's, a, there's a few things about it. So uh, this test uh, did, not, um, did not require a lot uh, of my, uh, a lot of extra time for me to study. Uh, but if you look here, the percentages, database fundamentals, that uh, if you've been a DBA before, that should be easy. If not, just uh, get a good book or study guide. So um, we, that's, I'll go to Amazon later and see if we can find a couple. I'm sure we can. Always, almost always, the, the Cybex CompTIA ones are pretty good. And not only can you get the study guide, sometimes you can just get the practice tests. I find the practice tests are more valuable for me. Now, I'm further along in my career, but they're more valuable for me than the study guides. Um, especially the practice tests that will explain if you got it wrong, why. Uh, and sometimes I actually find that sometimes those practice tests aren't good, <laughs> that they're wrong. Um, but uh, so database fundamentals, database deployment, database management and maintenance, uh, data and beta security and business continuity. So these are all uh, domains that I've, I've heavily um, engrossed myself in through my career and also in other certifications. So I didn't need too much of a touch up, um, but you may. So let's look a little bit at, the, at this document. So uh, these exam objectives are awesome. These are a study guide in and of themselves. When I create a, a certification aligned content, one of the things that I do is I come out here and get the exam objectives and I make sure that I'm covering a decent amount. Now, there's sometimes it's hard to cover certain things. So, for example, it's not that hard to talk about, uh, well, to talk about the database tools. Um, and since I use Amazon Web Services a lot in my classrooms, I can do Amazon DB, I can do Cassandra, I can do MongoDB. Uh, I have not done much with Cosmos or, or Neo4j. So, um, I like to give hands-on when possible, and you just can't do hands-on for everything in here with the little bit of time that is had using the classroom. Um, not only that, it some things get more complex. So when you're talking about um, making a database, for example, more fault tolerant, so load balancing it. Um, so load testing it and making sure it can handle a large amount of load. So, but explain database 
there, there's lots of different things that we can do here and the explaining is the main thing. I like my students to do as much as possible because in doing it reinforces what they've read and they better understand it so that they can then do better on these tests. Um, so database management maintenance. Um, yeah, so it, it was it was an okay test. Um, it, uh, I'm doing uh, I'm meeting my goals this year, but I still might I have one more I'm planning on doing and maybe a second uh, before the end of the year. Uh, so stay tuned. Um, if you are an instructor, please consider signing up for CompTIA Instructor Network. People help each other. They have to train the trainers. It's a good way to try and stay up to date. Um, so last thing, since I've been going down a CompTIA path, looking here, so I don't have these really, th these are extremely fundamental courses. Um, I do not have those yet, but I do have A+, plus, Network+, plus now Security+, plus, Cloud+, plus, Linux+, plus. I'm looking at Server+, plus, um, although I don't like Windows, so that's going to be an interesting one. Uh, I have CYSA, CASP, Pentest, I now have Data+, plus. I got Data Sys, Data X is one that I'm considering. Uh, I haven't started Project or Cloud Essentials, so uh, I should be able to get Project pretty easy. I've done project management stuff in the past. Uh, and Cloud Essentials, I mean, I'm already Cloud Plus, so I think that's a step down from it. So uh, really, I don't have many to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, if I want to get them all. But three of these, do I really want to even get these really fundamental ones? I don't know. I'll, I'll think about it. Uh, I might just uh, end up getting them because I want to have them all. Anyway. See you in the next one.